Hello Internet, I'm Hazel, and this is my kill of the Skeleton Lord's boss from Dark Souls 2. I'm doing this fight solo, in melee, and with no shield. When you first enter, you'll see three Skeleton Lords in the back. Each one summons a specific type of skeleton group when killed, and those skeletons count towards the boss health. Don't kill all three at once, or you will get swarmed. I prefer to go for the Lord that's on the far left first. You can recognize him by his scythe. Once that scythe lord dies, armored skeletons will spawn. Do your best to take out as many as you can while they're still assembling themselves. After that, keep moving to avoid those skeleton lords and pick off the rest of the smaller skeletons. Everything in this fight moves pretty slow. You can avoid damage and buy time to heal by running around and using those big pillars to hide from ranged fire attacks. When all of the armored skeletons are down, focus on the Spear Lord next. His death will spawn a group of basic skeletons. Pick them off using the same tactics as before. All of the enemies in this encounter are easily staggered with the right weapon. I recommend a strike weapon such as a mace, craftsman's hammer, or blacksmith hammer if you have one handy. Ideally, you want to be able to kill the smaller skeletons in as few hits as possible. When you're down to the last lord, go ahead and smack him. It's time to prepare yourself. Bone wheels are coming. When the bone wheel skeletons start spawning, it's crucial to cut down as many as you can before they get rolling. Too many of them up at once will squish you flat in no time. Once they're moving, the only safe time to hit them is when they've reached the end of their trajectory. And that's how I do it. A fun fight that's easy once you know what to do, with the exception of everyone's favorite bone wheels. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more gaming videos and guides if you're into that kind of thing. And have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye!